Oh, hello guys, my name is Jack, and today I'm going to show you how to add a green screen element to most video games. Just as an example, I'm going to test it out on Call of Duty 4 right here, just to see how it applies to this game, eh? Alright, as you can see, it's pretty amazing, eh? And you are able to block out most everything going forward, and it is distance based, so you can adjust it however you want. Alright. As to how you get this working, well, I'm gonna go and show you how, eh? Okay, so before we install anything, just keep in mind that this is kind of modding the game, so just make sure that whatever game you're doing it on doesn't really have an online component, and if it does, just be sure to be wary about that, check out the forums, and make sure that it's safe to use, or well, definitely don't try it on any of these games here, eh? They'll definitely do some wacky shit to you if they catch you doing it even though it's just a visual mod, eh? Alright guys, now in order to do this, we're gonna need the software called Reshade, so we're just gonna quickly download it, eh? I'm gonna link in the description for you to get, and after you've gotten it, just start it up. Now the installer is kinda unique in the fact that it installs itself for each game individually, eh? So once you've opened this up, just select the game you wanna put your green screen effect on, and it can do much more than just green screen A, I can tell you that at the very least. Alright, for this example we're going to use The Witcher 3, I haven't done this yet so we're going to test it out real quick A. Now, after you click next and have selected The Witcher 3, or, or just any game actually, I just said The Witcher 3 because it was my example A. So anyway, once you've gone to this screen, you select the API for whatever game it is. For The Witcher 3, I know it uses DX11. So we're just going to verify that real quick. Alright, DX11, which is already selected, and that's great, eh? So we'll click next, and then at this menu, click next. Or unless you want to import something, I guess, eh? Now the green screen effect comes down in... Or oh, where the hell is it, eh? I saw it like a second ago, but now it's not here. Ah, right. It's right here, eh? The Fubax shaders or whatever that is. I thank the guy whoever made this, cause he's like a pretty cool guy, allowing us to do all this cool shit, eh? Because it has a chroma key thing, that's what we're looking for. All right, so select that, and whatever else you wanna put in your reshade setup for whatever game you wanna do, eh? And then click next, and then I'll go ahead and download that stuff. If you want all the stuff, or you don't wanna check all of them, you can uncheck them at will. But for me, I'm just gonna do them all, and then finish up. Alright, sweet, now let's dive into The Witcher 3, eh? Alright guys, now that we have jumped into The Witcher 3, you can probably see that we have a little menu at the top there, eh? Yup, that's the reshade menu. So, usually when you start it up for the first time with reshade, it's gonna prompt you to do a tutorial. So go ahead and press that home button, and here you go, it'll put you into the menu, eh? Alright, I suggest you do read this through, and follow the tips it gives you to use it properly but uh, otherwise we're just gonna continue through all this and it's gonna all be pretty cool way eh? all right so as you can see there are a bunch of cool effects you can all check box on or off so you just continue and then finish up with all this stuff and then it'll give you the full control of all the stuff eh? okay cool so now the green screen effect we're looking for is called chroma key so for me it's around halfway down i guess so you just check that and by default oh yeah it looks like it did make the background a little green eh right now it looks like it's at the sky level and reasonably far eh so we can adjust that to come closer to really green screen out what we want to green screen out eh all right and that's how you're going to mainly do it, by using the distance adjustment bar. This can go further, the higher up you drag it, or nearer and closer, the lower you drag it. Right up to your face, eh? Or in even covering our friendly Geralt himself. Alright, so I think this is good enough for now. We're just going to try walking around here, and see our Witcher has his background all cut out. Now do avoid grassy terrain, because it is kind of a bother in places like these. 
As for the rest of the settings, you are going to have to adjust it a little bit to get the best effect, eh? Oh, I don't even know where I'm at, eh? So let's quickly adjust this to the foreground, and we can see where we're going. If you do the foreground style, it's kind of like the inverse green screen, so you green screen everything close to you instead. Now the horizontal and vertical radial depths adjust the curvature of the green screen in relation to your camera position. So adjusting this slider here is going to make the curve come closer towards you or further away. And it's like wrapping itself around you, eh, like a hand. But do be careful because it's not always perfect. So you'll probably get this weird spotlighting effect on you, most likely. But if it's good enough, or I guess you'll be pretty happy with that then, eh? Okay, and the common problem that people get is the ground, eh? Sometimes you want the whole thing to be green except your character, but you just can't get the ground to be green as well. So that's where the experimental ground greening comes in. The coverage is not exactly stellar, and it does kind of get your character as well. And you certainly will have these green bits flickering around your character in most cases, but it does do a decent job on flat surfaces if you're trying to take away the ground as well. Although personally, I kind of just prefer leaving it off and instead cropping out my character's legs whenever I'm doing a video. But they'll never know, way eh? Because it'll look natural enough, especially when I record in 1440p, eh? Oh, and you can adjust the color too. You can adjust whatever green screen color you want it to be. Oh, but then I guess it wouldn't be a green screen anymore, eh? It might be a yellow screen. Oh, this horsey's touching me. Oh, hello, horsey. Oh, goodbye. You're going into the green void, eh? Oh, I'll see you next time, G. I'll catch you on the other side. But not before I tell my viewers how to do this thing. Oh, actually, I've kind of told them everything, eh? Oh, check this out. This is one of my personal favorites. It's called the Advanced CRT. And it just makes everything look like you're playing on an old CRT TV or CRT screen, eh? Or, oh, and you've got to add the curvature as well for the icing on the cake. Or, oh. so nostalgic, eh? And combine this with the other filters and effects, and you get a real retro look, or whatever kind of sexy look you want. Because I think Geralt is pretty sexy himself, and I would totally kiss this pixelated face, eh?